Hello, you joined me in the car. We are doing a little Joanne's walkthrough. We're gonna do a little like looking for fall stuff <laughs> video. Uh, there's Joanne's here. There's also a Trader Joe's right over there. So I might also see if they have some like pumpkin spice stuff, but we're gonna hop in here. We're gonna go see what holiday decor they have to send out. Halloween, obviously the holiday we care about the most. Um, and then yarn also. I want to take a look and see if they have any Halloween yarn or fall yarn um, and see if I can find some more yarn for my corner to corner blanket. I would really love to find some vamp from last year it's also not online i'm just hoping that maybe there were some that's like tucked away and i can find in this joanne so we're gonna try that um and then i have another corner to corner blanket i want to make for a friend for christmas and so i need to see if i can find some nice greens for that so those are what we're gonna look for come on camera setup I've ever done um, but it kind of looks like the framing's nice so we'll use it <laughs> we have a guest for this section of the video um, and anyway so I went to Joann's and did a little holiday shopping um, and was looking for some yarn and some decorations and we accomplished both of those things I will insert some clips here of some of the decorations that I put around the house and then we're gonna go ahead and do a little mini of what I got from Joanne's. As I was telling you, I did want to look for some green because uh, I think I was telling you this in the last video. I wanted to look for some green yarn because I wanted to do a blanket for a friend for uh, a Christmas gift. And I found this. I know these were like super popular and all the rage probably close to a year ago now. <laughs> um, but I never got a chance to use them. These are like the Granny Square uh, by Red Heart. So if you follow along I guess with like the correct gauge, you would make that granny square. Um, this one. However, I will not be doing that. I will just be using it for its color changing aspect. Um, it has some greens and blues and blacks, which I think are quite pretty. Um, not quite the shades of green that I was looking for, but um, a nice deep green ombre yarn was like non-existent at Joann's when I went there. So we're gonna try this and see how it turns out. And I got two skeins. Hopefully that should be plenty for a decent sized blanket. Um, my thought is that this would be used in like an office. So hopefully that works out. Um, along with that, I also got the red version just cause it was so pretty. I couldn't not get it. Um, again, I will not be doing the actual granny square pattern. I will be using this probably also for a blanket or perhaps a cardigan like this because I think it would look kind of cool as a cardigan. I haven't fully decided. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think I should use this for and I'll try it. I got two skeins so a lot of yarn to go through. Um, I picked up just like another <laughs> huge, this is the big twist uh, value pound of black. It's black as a staple. I use it on cardigans and blankets and borders and whatever so just a shit ton of black yarn. <laughs> and then lastly this is a yarn that I haven't seen anywhere else so I'm very excited for it. Um, it is another big twist yarn and this is in the color I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm not gonna show it to you yet. I'm gonna tell you first. It's called Spooky Season and it's such a cool it's so cool. It is like black and white and orange and purple and like these are all of the colors that I like the most uh for the holiday season or the Halloween season so super excited about this I got six of them <laughs> I saw them and I was like yes and I think they were like 25 percent off so um not terribly expensive I got six because um, six is enough for a sweater, so I figured if I wanted to do a sweater, I could. I also think I could just do a cardigan like this with black interspersed, hence the black pound of love. Um, and I think it might look really good to do this exact cardigan, so the two, two and two stripe, but with this instead. 
I think it would look so good. So that definitely is going to happen. Um, I don't know if I'll need all six for that. So I might have a couple left over that I can either make into a triangle scarf or put onto a blanket. I'm not sure what else I would use it for, but um, the options are endless. So um, that could be really fun. I could even just do, even if I have a small amount left over, I could do like start and maybe do the inside this and then finish with black and it could be like a fun little peekaboo cardigan who knows anyway i'm excited i really like this color i think it's so cool and so pretty and i'll be definitely making this for my halloween cardigan this year so i wanted to show you that hopefully you saw something that you liked if you've tried out the granny square ones before by red heart let me know if you liked them um, and i'll definitely show you how they come out as at least this one as a blanket and then this one We'll find out <laughs> anyway i think that is going to be it for this video i just wanted to do a fun little um shopping slash yarn haul in this video i found some really cute stuff to decorate my house i'll probably need to go back and get more um there's definitely some things that i got that i want more of to hang in different areas of my house and uh, the yarn i'm really excited for i know <laughs> last video i was talking about starting that blanket as a stash buster but uh you know this is this is what we do as crafters <laughs> we get more yarn um so i'm excited hopefully i can work on this soon and show it to you in an upcoming video and then again if you had any ideas for what i could do with this let me know thanks so much for being here thanks for watching this video and i'll see you again in the next one Bye bye